On December 2nd, 1804, the imperial procession made its way through Paris. A Senate proclamation and a vote of the people, both carefully arranged by Bonaparte himself, had given him what he wanted. He was about to become an emperor. As soon as a man becomes a king, he is set apart from all other men, Bonaparte said. I always felt that Alexander the Great's idea of pretending to be descended from a god was inspired by a sure instinct for real politics. In spite of the cold, a half million cheering spectators lined the streets. Bonaparte himself had meticulously planned every detail. The great cathedral, hung with pennants and tapestries and decorated like a Roman temple, seemed more like a theater than a church. But Bonaparte wanted his elevation to glow with the aura of religion. The Pope had been brought from Italy to sanctify the occasion. He has the genius of making the Pope come to Paris, which gives everything a sacred air. It is God who confirms that the changes that took place during the revolution are forever established.